The man who found the pearl of great price gave all that he had for it. If we desire all that the Father hath, God asks all that we have. If we must give all that we have, then our giving almost everything is not enough. If we almost keep the commandments, we almost receive the blessings. For example, some young people assume they can romp in sinful mud until taking a shower of repentance just before being interviewed for a mission or the temple. In the very act of transgression, some plan to repent. They mock the gift of mercy that true repentance allows. Some people want to keep one hand on the wall of the temple with, while touching the world's unclean things with the other hand. We must put both hands on the temple and hold on for dear life. One hand is not even almost enough. The rich young man had given almost everything. When the Savior told him he must sell all his possessions, that wasn't just a story about riches. We can have eternal life if we want it, but only if there's nothing else we want more. So we must willingly give everything, because God Himself can't make us grow against our will and without our full participation. And yet even if we utterly spend ourselves, we lack the power to create the perfection only God can complete. Our all by itself is still only almost enough until it is finished by the all of Him who is the finisher of our faith. At that point, our imperfect but consecrated almost is enough. <laughs>